Hello everybody, this is Jane the Haunter and today what we have to unbox and set up is the Distortions Unlimited 2023 version of Crazy Kristen. This for years and years has been one of my favorite props from Distortions and I am so thrilled to have finally had the opportunity to buy her. I don't think you guys realize how truly excited I am to finally own this prop. This is thrilling. There she is under there in all her glory. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get a little more of this unpackaged like that. And then I'll come back with it completely unwrapped. Here she is with the black wrap off. I went ahead and left the bag that was on her for us to do together. There she is under there. So, so, so excited for this. There's my replacement hands for Creepy Kathy that I was promised as well. And my bolts for my Dragon Legend. So I'll just set those there on the ground. Try and get all of this plastic wrapped off. There she is, crazy. Kristen, let me go ahead and finish getting the rest of her unpacked, like the speaker and the lights, and then we'll hook her up to a compressor. Here we are unboxing the back. There is this coil that I believe was supposed to be wrapped up in her, but it was just sitting there. So I'm lucky that it didn't fall out during shipping. So I'm gonna move this here to the front of her. So that way I'm not setting off the camera and you don't hear that obnoxious whistle every time. This is gonna be her speaker, amplifier, and all of her controls. Here is everything out of this little box. You have the speaker amplifier with the controller. Then you have these color-coded cables, the power supply for the controller. And then I custom ordered a motion sensor to be added onto her because Mutant was a pain to activate with the push button. I automatically assumed it would have came with the sensor because I'm so used to buying retail animatronics, but I should have known that it might be different. So I should have clarified beforehand, but adding a sensor to Mutant is not going to be a big deal. I'm just going to locate all of your wires that need to be added on and color coded and just match the colors and plug them in. And then you will have to grab your air compressor hose and attach that here. And that's going to give her her power to move around. On the back of Kristen here, you have the lights, the two solenoids that make her go back and forth. There are the air cylinders that actually push her around. Then you have her regulator down there, which Mutant didn't have. <laughs> I think it actually would have been pretty convenient if Mutant had one, but I'm glad that she has one. So that way I don't accidentally overpower her. And I was planning to get a regulator and put that on her because I didn't want my compressor to somehow just mess up and put the wrong air pressure into her. And I really, really didn't want her to break because she is such a cool prop. So I'm going to turn her around and go ahead and activate her a couple times in the light in the dark. So you can see her in action in all her glory. Here she is inside. And before I activate her, I want to go ahead and just do a couple of the close-ups that I can do now that we're inside and not in 105 degree heat outside. So yeah, here's all of the beautiful detailing on her face. And as I said before, was sculpted by Ed Edmonds. There is a video online that was shown on YouTube, uh, not YouTube, on um, TV years ago. I don't remember what channel it was on, but they did a whole video process on how they make Crazy Kristen from scratch to the molding, to the sculpting, to everything. So this is the new 2023 model, which has the whole updated slab. She has lights on her now. She has shorter hair and she has this completely new upgraded straight jacket which was a huge, huge, huge selling point for me. The lighting and the new straight jacket was a huge selling point for me. I was saving up to purchase her this year because I really, really wanted her for my lab this year. And they came out with the new one. I want to say they posted it either January or December. And I was like, holy crap, this was the year to save up for her because they've completely upgraded her, made her like 10 times better with all this lighting. I love the new slab that she's on. I love the new straight jacket. I love the lighting. I love the coil going across the top that she has now. It's just phenomenal. I absolutely love it. So as I said before, mine is custom ordered with a sensor. It's not exactly anything too crazy. It's just, it's just easier for me to use on Halloween in our 
display or rather our first home haunt that we are doing this year. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the cord so we can show her to you guys. Gonna power up everything. Give her just a minute to power on. She's heard a second pop. She's probably about to get going now. Go ahead and wave my foot in front of the sensor. Of her several activations. Here goes another one. She might have one more, if I'm not mistaken. There it is. Turn off the lights, or I'll go ahead and let this last activation go, oh and then I'll do that. <laughs> and now we'll turn off the lights. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the 2023 version of Distortions Unlimited Crazy Kristen. I am so thrilled to finally have this piece after years and years of wanting her. So thrilled to add her to our first home haunt this year. And I am excited to showcase her to everybody that comes by. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe.